Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Action 24 News. I'm Barry Schmelly. And I'm up to no good. Here are the latest headlines from around the country. A local documentary filmmaker is creating national headlines after making a film about the potential extinction of beavers. Mariah Collings created the documentary titled Leave It to the Beavers. She said that it took over six months to complete this documentary because she traveled to all parts of the country to film beavers in their natural habitats. It was a different experience seeing these creatures in their natural habitats. I mean, these beavers are going to be extinct within the next 20 to 30 years. And I felt that this documentary will help change the views that people have on beavers. When Ms. Collings entered it into film festivals across the country, film critics said that it was the best damn documentary they've ever seen. Andy Tover, a former employee at Kilometer Calendar Factory, is suing the company for being wrongfully terminated. Mr. Tover claims that the company had been mistreating its employees and underpaying them for several years. Kilometer Chairman Candace B. For Real stated in a press release that the former seven-year employee was released from the company after being caught stealing calendars and taking too many days off. He is expected to serve 12 months in prison. Two Texas teenagers have been arrested for theft and animal cruelty. 16-year-olds Doug Graves and Rory Motion were caught on security cameras stealing two goats from a local farm in Waco. The teenagers were planning to use the goats to ask two cheerleaders to homecoming. They did admit during questioning that they were planning on spray painting a message on the goats, stating, quote, will you goat with me to homecoming? A liquor store in Massachusetts decided to pick a fight with the fast food franchise Wendy's. The two places traded jabs on their signs after Wendy's Twitter account got national recognition for roasting other restaurants and critics. These disses of each other were amusing the locals and the customers. This does show that Wendy's knows how to correctly beef. Coming up, two math instructors arrested in New York. Find out what for. Also, find out why the first restaurant on the moon had to be closed for good. All this after the break. A puppet store in Ireland has set the world record for the most puppets sold in one day. A video went viral last week on YouTube when the store spent a fortune using ventriloquist Jeff Dunham as their spokesperson. People became suspicious about the advertising campaign for the puppets, but the owner stated that there were no strings attached. Atlanta-based elementary school Jackson Elementary has won a contest for an exclusive tour of the Coke factory. The PR team for Coca-Cola put out a nationwide contest for schools to come up with a video about how much their school is putting forth into the community. The students had a blast getting the tour of the facilities, but one student did say that he hoped there wasn't a pop quiz after the tour. Two New York high school math teachers have been arrested at JFK Airport. Teachers Avery Neisman and Ben Thayer were failing to cooperate with airport security after they confiscated multiple rulers, compasses, and protractors in their carry-on luggage. Security kept trying to be cooperative with the teachers after repeating several times that certain items cannot be carried onto an airplane and must be checked in. They were going to a convention in Las Vegas to get some training from some of the best teachers in the country. And next thing I know, I'm getting a call from the airport police saying that they aren't willing to check in their devices and to come get them or they are calling the police. Both the teachers are being charged with having weapons of math instruction. A former Wrigley's chewing gum employee has been taken into custody for having illegal paraphernalia and chemicals. Cody Pendant, an ex-manufacturer, was arrested last week for trying to put poisonous chemicals in chewing gum and distributing them to minors. His attorney stated in a press conference that he was simply conducting experiments. I was shocked when I found out that Cody had been arrested. He was very professional in the factory. He knew what he was doing. I mean, everyone's in disbelief. Mr. Pendant's bond is set for $750,000. Coming up, a former computer technician tells all in an exclusive interview. Find out what he said that is making headlines. And find out why Hannibal Lecter is being criticized for his newly released autobiography. All this after the break. Uncle Mo's Family Feed Bag, the first restaurant to open on the moon, is having to close its doors due to lack of funds and bad customer service. 
The owner, Mo Sislak, became the first person in American history to open his family restaurant on the moon. He was having to shut it down because it cost too much to send families to the moon and back. That restaurant just had nothing for us. The kids were scared about traveling there, saying that it took too long. The customer service was awful. Everyone was being rude. I mean, it was just terribly managed. The customers also complained about the quality of the food, and one customer even said that there was a lack of atmosphere in the restaurant. A New York publishing company is heavily criticizing world-famous cannibal Hannibal Lecter. Awesome Author Publishers is saying that they have dropped Mr. Lecter from their brand after his autobiography was considered to be disturbing and grotesque. We were interested in his story most definitely, but when he published the autobiography without our consent, it was the first of many rules and regulations that he violated. Then the actual content was another thing, and it was very disturbing. Most of you know Mr. Lecter from his movies, and his book was telling a story about how he got into cannibalism. But he stated in the book that he stayed away from clowns because they tasted funny. A computer technician is coming clean in a tell-all interview that aired on NBC last week. Seymour Butterball revealed to an NBC reporter about the dark side of the computer tech world. He talked about the dangers of fixing computers and any other technologies. Most recently, Seymour was sent to the hospital after getting third-degree burns on his hands when a laptop he was fixing caught fire in his workshop after touching the firewall. My insurance company, through my former employer, said that they wouldn't cover it because the incident took place off company property. Yet, I was working on a laptop that was written to them to be fixed. Why won't they do it? Wow, sad indeed. A chimney store in Seattle has gone out of business because two employees were secretly giving away their products for an extremely discounted rate and even free. The two employees who requested to be unidentified were fired after giving out their products for that discount and free because of, quote, ridiculous prices that the company had been tagging on the chimneys. Customers were shocked when the company went out of business after just three months of open employment. More customers found it bizarre when the two said that their products were on the house. Well, now it's time for sports. Here's Oliver Duplass. Thanks, Barry. I'm Oliver Duplass. Here's the latest from the sports desk. Four European soccer players have been arrested for taking part in a money laundering sting. The players have been suspended indefinitely from the team until the charges go through on the four players. The head coach from the team expressed his disappointment in the four players for this incident. The tweets have been coming in since the incident became public, suddenly even saying that the soccer players had a hard time doing his scoring. PBA Hall of Famer Pete Weber has opened a new two-story bowling alley in Los Angeles. Fans of the 10-time PBA major winner were waiting for months for Weber to finally open his high-tech bowling alley that he has been raving about since March. Weber stated that getting the funds was the most difficult part about opening up the facility. But now that the alley is open, he can finally get the ball rolling. Abandoned NASCAR drivers are refusing to compete this weekend because of another driver who had just been released from prison on federal racketeering charges. Ricky Bobby had received three years in prison for charges of receiving cash benefits for purposely losing races and crashing into several drivers on purpose. Most notably, driver Jeff Gordon stated that they don't want him in NASCAR, not because of this incident, but because of his checkered pass. Tim Tebow for the New York Mets made his big league debut against the Miami Marlins last Thursday. The former Heisman winner and two-time national champion at the University of Florida was called up on Wednesday after making quite a splash in the minors. The players are impressed and saying that he is a real hit. And finally, Rory McIlroy had checked into a rehab in Arizona because of his golfing addiction. His ex-girlfriend became very scared for his addiction to the sport because he was addicted to getting his game better rather than relaxing and realizing how good he was doing. She even stated that the addiction was driving a wedge in their future plans. That's it for sports. I'm Oliver DePlaz. Back to you guys. Thanks, Oliver. And for our entertainment news, here's Dwayne Devane. Thanks, Anton. I'm Dwayne Devane, and here's the entertainment update. Ted, who's known for starring in his self titled movies with co-star Mark Wahlberg, has decided to retire from the food critic industry just two months in. Ted has decided to pursue a career as a food critic, but then decided to give it up after his latest article didn't quite get the reviews he expected. 
He recently went to a restaurant in Las Vegas to review Gordon Ramsay's newly opened restaurant, Hell's Kitchen. He said in the article that he couldn't taste the food because he was stuffed from the last meal he ate. Actor Justin Long has been fired as the spokesman for Apple because of a meeting he had with Microsoft chairman Bill Gates. You may know Justin Long as the person playing the Mac on the Apple commercials and for his role in the hit comedy, Accepted. Justin was terminated from Apple for even being in the same room with Bill Gates. He was trying to work out a deal to get the new Apple self-driving car to have windows, but Apple declined because they were scared that it would crash. Steve Barry has been released from jail after getting into an argument with his brother-in-law last Saturday. The game and talk show host had 911 called on him from neighbors in the Atlanta area because of elevated yelling. The couple stated that Mr. Harvey was raising his voice around his wife's family over a political dispute over his meeting with President Donald Trump. Mr. Harvey stated that everything is fine, not wanting this to turn into a family feud. Angus Young, a guitarist from the legendary band ACDC, had a health scare during a concert last week in Minnesota. He ended up fainting on stage due to exhaustion and dehydration and was taken to a local hospital. Angus was released three hours later once his fluids were normal. Ducks were scared that he rocked himself to sleep during the concert. Finally, singer Christina Aguilera made a surprise visit at a plumber's convention last week. The convention was located in Las Vegas at the MGM Grant. Officials of the convention were surprised that they got the formal host of The Voice to be the entertainer of the day. However, the five-time Grammy Award winner left early after her performance because she was getting creeped out when the plumbers kept coming up to her and saying, nice pipes. That's it for entertainment. I'm Dwayne Vang. Back to you, Upton. Thanks, Dwayne. We'll be right back after this break. Finally, we end tonight with some feel-good news. A local dentist is making a difference in his community this holiday season. Dr. A. Brother went out into the less fortunate community and gave free checkups to those that don't have dental insurance. He ended up giving 300 of these free checkups. He said this was the most he has ever done since starting this project five years ago. People have said that they know he has many fillings and took advantage of this extraordinary opportunity. Man, just to see a dentist do something like that, especially in, in this economic time that we have, it's just amazing, isn't it? I know, it puts a really good gold cap in his record and on our community. Yeah, it really does. Well, that does it for us tonight. Make sure to catch us Monday through Friday at the same time and same place. Once again, I'm Barry Schmelly. And I'm up to no good. Have an excellent night.